Today, we each have to build a secure prison, and whoever can beat each other's prison the fastest wins. What happens if you win? If you win, you get to blow up the loser's prison. What? That sounds really scary. Yeah, and I'm gonna beat you. Milo is such a noob and I'm such a pro. Let's see what he's building out of. Dirt? What? That is such a newbie thing to build. We are gonna use a much stronger material. I think stone bricks is definitely the right option here. It's way stronger than dirt and it'll totally make Milo scared for his life. Oh yeah, this looks like the great start to our prison. Milo's never gonna escape from here. Let's build the walls up really high, just like this. Oh yeah, how could he even climb up here? There's no no way, but this is a really empty room. I think we need to decorate it somehow. Milo might be in prison, but he definitely still needs a bed to sleep in. Let's give him one there. I think that's small enough that he'll totally hate it in here. And let's also give him a nice window made out of iron bars. Milo's gonna hate his view of the orange. That is his least favorite color. And I think we can also put some hay bales around just to make it feel like home because he is never getting out of this prison. I'm also gonna build Milo a big prison toilet. Oh yeah, I put it right next to his bed. That's gonna be so annoying. Let's also build a roof so that Milo can't just climb out of here. This is looking so secure. There's no way Milo will get out of this. But hmm, I guess we do have to make it possible. So let's make an escape hatch up here and some crazy parkour leading up to it. I think it would be so funny if Milo had to go on the toilet for the parkour. Then he has to jump onto this block here. Let's make it out of iron bars just to remind him he's in jail. Let's make the other one out of iron bars as well because it is so thin, he'll probably fall off like 50 times. Let's make a super tricky ladder jump up to the roof. Hopefully Milo's prison is way easier than this. When Milo climbs up this ladder, he's not gonna be able to escape right away. He's gonna go right into the vents and they're gonna loop around and string him along in a crazy maze that he'll never escape from. The vents are gonna have so many twists and turns and dead ends. Milo's gonna have no clue where to go. We've just got to put the roof on top of them and they're going to be so secure. We've now got a maze of vents that Milo's going to take ages to get through, but when he does, it'll lead him right into the next crazy room. The next room is going to be made out of mossy stone bricks. This already looks so much grosser than the other ones. And because I'm a pro, I know exactly what to do with these. Every Minecraft pro knows that mossy stone bricks are exactly where silverfish like to live. And silverfish are one of Milo's creepiest crawlers. He does not like them at all and the vent is gonna drop him into a room full of them He's never gonna escape this prison. He'll be too busy running for his life Every prison has iron bars, but most of them also have a bunch of chains Chains are super creepy and they look like they're coming out of the mob spawner Milo is gonna have to jump up all of these chains if he wants to escape and move on to the next room I do not think Milo is ever gonna be able to complete this which is perfect for us because it means we're totally gonna win once Milo makes it past the parkour, he will enter the giant tube. This prison is gonna have so many levels for him to have to get through. And in this level, it's a giant TNT launcher that takes him right up to the next one. We obviously have to fill it with water. Otherwise, the TNT would explode this whole place. Even though it is made out of obsidian, I still wanna be careful. And we'll fill every single dispenser with a bunch of TNT, so it'll totally explode. Let's add some obsidian on the sides as well. We need to hook all these dispensers up to a bunch of redstone. Otherwise, They'll just sort of sit there and the TNT won't come out, which we do not want at all. Let's add one final button over here that Milo has to press in order to activate the TNT. Let's test it out. Oh yeah, this is looking so exciting and away! Wow, that launches up so high. I think I even got a look at Milo's build and it is looking pretty newbie so far. Wow, I don't even want to know what the rest of it looks like. That's embarrassing. Once Milo makes it up this giant obsidian tower, he's going to reach the next room. The Diabolical find the button room. Milo is gonna have to look all over these walls to find the button that lets him into the next room, but there's a catch. Because this is a pro prison, Every single one of these buttons is gonna be hooked up to a different command block, and they are gonna do some pretty insane things to Milo. For example, this command block sets Milo on fire. Let's test it out in three, two, one. <coughs> oh, sorry, Milo. <laughs> Nothing. In order to actually get the energy from the buttons to properly go into the command blocks first though, we need to place crying obsidian. 
This is one of the most energy rich blocks in the game. And because we're such a pro, we can actually have it all around our prison. Let's also add some buttons on them. Oh yeah. Now that some of the command block buttons have the fire command block behind them, I think it's time to add some more to totally troll Milo. This command block is a lot deadlier than the last one. It just straight up makes Milo fall out of the world. Let's give it a go. I actually really hope this one works. Let's use it in three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry, Milo, just testing. Jim, stop killing me! That worked really well. Let's put it behind some more of these command blocks. We're gonna have so many different crazy commands for Milo to do, he's never gonna get out of here. The final button is gonna link up to some pistons on the side that let him through this creepy little side door. I think when he realizes what's on the other side of the door though, he's gonna wanna go back right away. This room is going to be a crazy laser maze. We just have to power them up and whoa, it shoots out an insane laser across the room. There's no way anyone could ever dodge this, unless of course you're a pro like me, but a noob like Milo is gonna fall for this completely. Once Milo beats the laser section, he's gonna end up in the skeleton pit. This room is gonna be full of skeletons just shooting at Milo as he tries to get by. Let's make a row of pressure plates right here so that when Milo tries to go over them, they trigger the skeleton dispensers. Every single one of these dispensers is gonna have three stacks of skeleton horses, three stacks of skeletons, and three stacks of wither skeleton eggs in every single dispenser. There's no way Milo survives this. Let's also add some creepy skull decorations around the room. This'll totally make Milo afraid and it'll distract him from the competition. Let's make some final ladder parkour that Milo's gonna have to get through if he wants to beat the room. The only problem, I think the skeletons are gonna make it pretty difficult, but that's exactly what we want. Once he does finally make it up though, he's gonna land in the top and final room of this prison. Once Milo reaches the final room, he will be met with an unbreakable bedrock box. This is the most pro block in the entire game and the best, most secure block to build any prison out of. In order to escape, Milo must make it past this deadly maze of obstacles. First of all, a confusing labyrinth that'll make him stuck and lose his mind. Let's add lots of twists and turns made out of bedrock into this labyrinth. Milo's never getting out of this. Let's also make the entire floor of this out of soul sand so it makes him super duper slow. Once Milo makes it out of the confusing labyrinth, he's gonna have to do the next most difficult challenge. Milo will have to run along a field of dispensers, each filled with a bunch of poison and other magical arrows. In every single dispenser, we will have arrow of the turtle master, the slowest arrow in the whole game, and also a bunch of instant damage. We can't forget poison and of course, some weakness arrows. Milo is not gonna like these dispensers at all. Instead of pressure plates, we are gonna have infinite looping rings of observer blocks. These are one of the most pro and expensive redstone blocks in the whole game. So it definitely makes sense that only I would have them. Every single one of these will launch a constantly timed string of redstone that launches the arrows into the dispenser and right into this corridor. We're also gonna add some observers on the top and some redstone lamps so Milo can see exactly how much time he has left. When this bar fully loads, it means the arrows are ready to start shooting again and Milo should really start worrying. I am gonna pause the timer for now because I feel like the arrows are going way too much and we don't wanna lose them all before the prison break even starts. We've also got the same thing on the other side, so let's make some little barriers that Milo can stand in just for his own safety. Otherwise, this would be totally impossible. All Milo will have to do from this point on to reach the escape is to go through one final really difficult challenge. I have gathered the most difficult blocks in the entire game. These are all super duper dangerous and we are gonna make a floor made out of every single one of them that Milo has to speed run across. Wither roses will give you withering, soul sand slows you down, dripstone spike you and lava, magma and campfires all burn you to a crisp. Cobwebs are so slow, ice is really slippery and this frozen powdered snow bucket will totally freeze you alive. Milo is gonna have a really hard time walking across all of this. And we've done it. I don't even know if this is possible, but if Milo manages to make it through, then I guess he can make it to the end. At the very end of the maze is a diamond platform and a chest boat filled with a bunch of diamond blocks that Milo can totally have, if he ever actually escapes, that is. Once he gets down, he's totally free, but I think it won't last because we're totally gonna blow up his whole base. Okay, Milo, it's time to go head to head to see who can make it through each other's prison the fastest. You're never gonna get out of my prison on 
time. Really? But I'm such a pro and you're such a noob. All right, try it out then. Hmm, what does this sign say? Chep, you're locked. Oh, are you trying to say locked? Yeah, you're locked inside my prison. Okay, Milo, you really need spelling lessons if you want to run a prison. Wow, what a nice bed. But hey, how am I going to get out this door? Did you make this possible? That's for you to figure out and for me to watch. Okay. Wait a minute, there's a hole under the bed oh, and a chest with a lever. This is how I activate the iron door. Milo, that was really easy. Dang it, you figured it out so quickly. Yeah, I totally did. I'm so smart. And what's this? Jump louser. Are you trying to say loser? Oh gosh, I guess I just have to beat this. Wait a minute, I don't even have to use these slime blocks. I can just jump on the parkour like normal. Yeah, sure. What? Ra a uh, a, uh. Milo. These signs are nonsense. Also, this parkour is really easy. What do you mean? It was really hard when I tested it. Milo, that's because you're bad at parkour. On this slime block jump, I'm gonna do a 360 no scope. Whoa! That was epic, Chip. You're really good at slime jump. Thanks, Milo. I know I'm kind of amazing. Whoa! This parkour is easier than I thought it would be. I'm actually really confident. Well, Why? Don't fall. Milo, I can't even read that. Wait, does that say don't fall? What happens if I fall? <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, I dug right down to the void. That's crazy. How did you do that? With my special body powers, of course. Milo, only noobs dig straight down. That means you're such a noob. What? I am not a noob. I'm so good at building prisons. Oh, yeah? Then why is your iron block tightrope so easy? What are you then why am I speed running it? And what does this sign say? Lol, idiot. Haha, <laughs> I'm not an idiot because I'm not going that way. What? You found out my trick. Chip is weird. Hey, I'm not weird. Yeah, you are. Milo, I see something dangerous in that room. I'm going to go up to it and see what it is, but I'm a little scared. I can't wait for you to see what's next. Prison guard canteen. Wow, you actually spelt it right. And there are zombies. Uh-oh. I'm going to open the door in three, two, one. Hi, zombies. Zombies, get Wait, what? Milo, am I meant to fight these zombies? Well, yeah, but you're also meant to escape. Wait, that's so easy. Milo, the door is right there and it's made out of wood. Bye, zombies. How did you dodge them all? What the heck? It's too easy, Milo. This is a really long room. Is there anything inside it? You'll see. Oh, a puppy. Hey, what's the puppy doing here? Wait, and there's more puppies here. This is really cute, Milo. Wait, but these puppies are meant to be angry. What? They don't seem angry at all. They're actually really sweet. Stop being friends with them, okay? I'm getting jealous. Wait, Milo, is this a maze full of puppies? This isn't a prison. This is amazing. Dang it! I was meant to scare you. Wow, I never want to leave here. But wait, if I don't go quick enough, I'll lose this competition. And you'll get to blow up my prison. I'm going to get out of here as fast as I can. My puppies were a good distraction for a little while. Not anymore. You won't distract me any longer, puppies. Yeah, stay back. Now they're angry wolves. Yeah, they're gonna kill you. You better run. I found a door, Milo. Bye-bye, wolves. Dang it. I've just got to go up this ladder. I'm so excited, Milo. I think I've won. Good job. Milo is the best. Wait, no, I didn't mean to say that. You just said that I'm the best. Yay, yay, yay. Whoa, I got a bunch of fireworks and an elytra. I can fly around. This is awesome. Well, Chip. That's my prize for completing my prison. You did a really good job. Thanks. You're not going to do a good job in mine, though. This already looks so scary. Yeah, I built it especially to terrify you. I bet all these blocks are ghost blocks. I bet I could walk right out just like this. Milo, you're just smacking your head into the wall. My pro prison is so hard to escape, and you don't have much time. Okay, well, I better get to it. Hang on a second. Why is there a toilet in here? Obviously, so you can use the toilet. Well, I actually think I see something. Oh, what is it, Milo? I think you hit a sneaky parkour in my room. Yeah, that's right. I did. Wow, look, I'm really doing it. Wait, good job. When did you get so good at parkour? Well, I had to practice lots when I was building my prison. Dang it, I just fell off. I guess your time in prison has made you super buff. Yeah, I'm really strong, Milo, now. Ah, I want to get onto the ladder. Wow, Milo, you did it. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at parkour. Now you've made it to the vents. Oh my gosh, the vents like Among Us. Yes, just like Among Us. Wow, this is cool. I'm gonna go this way. Good idea. All right, whoa, Chip, I found the way out right away. Oh my gosh, Chip, this room is really intimidating. 
Yeah, this is the ultimate lava parkour zone. Okay, well, these spikes are really baby spikes, so I can just tiptoe around them. Dang it, I didn't even think about that. Now I'm standing on this one, and I'm sure I can just jump across like this. <laughs> Wait, you actually did it, Milo. And uh, the next jump, these weird lava pipes are kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I bet they burn your little birdie feet. But I hope they don't. My birdie feet are just being manicured. Really? Wow, I didn't even know you got manicures, Milo. Sometimes when my nails look really gross, I get them manicured. Haha, <laughs> you probably go to a spa and have cucumbers on your eyes. <laughs> I love cucumbers! Ugh, oh, of course you do. I hate vegetables so much. Red type. Wait, you did it, Milo. Ah! Jump, save me! I spoke too soon. Well, now I'm up here, and I think I've got a clear path to the exit. Whoa! I think so too, unless you manage to fall. This is a four-block jump, the biggest jump in the whole game. Wait, I don't know if I can even do that. Milo, don't hesitate. You don't have much time unless you want to lose and get your prison blown up. Ah! That did not work out, Milo. Try again. And again! Wow! Oh, I really made it! Good job, Milo. I fell out of surprise, because you never beat these sort of parkours. What do you mean? I do them every Sunday. Really? Why can't I ever see? Because it's a secret club and no chips are allowed. Whoa, you're doing the tightrope so quick. Could I really actually lose this thing? Yeah, you're definitely going to lose. I've done your prison so Milo, fastly isn't a word. I'm actually really confident. Well, says who? Says me, Milo. What is this? This is the TNT launch dispenser. It's going to launch you right up, and you have to land on that platform. Remember last time I messed with TNT? It didn't go down very well. I do remember that. That was so embarrassing. Well, I guess there's only one way up. I'm going to click it now. Whoa, on the first try. Uh-oh, Milo, this room's gonna slow you down, I think. Yeah, because I love buttons so much. This is the best room I've ever seen in my life. I love pressing buttons. Wait a second. Why is there a blaze here? Go away. Chip, that button was really bad. A lot of the buttons do really bad things, Milo. You gotta be careful. Well, maybe the next button will destroy the blaze. No, it definitely didn't. Milo, you pressed the same one. Okay. No, Milo, that one made you glow. Now you're really easy to see. Good luck escaping now. Dang it, this is so dumb. I'm really bad at escaping prisons. I'm press another place. I'm gonna try and press another button. It's gonna be something over here. Oh, let's go this one. Dang it. Wait a second, this button looks weird. It doesn't have any crying obsidian around it. I think it might be the correct button. Really? Yeah. Wow, good job, Milo. You totally found the right way to go. I don't know if I did, because these look like lasers. Yeah, they definitely are, and they do so much damage. Okay, I'm going to try and get through them very carefully. Time to jump over, Milo. Woo, I made one. Wow, good job. Yeah, this is pretty easy. I'm a very secret spot. Ow, what was that? Milo, that was a laser. What were you saying about this being easy? Uh, this is actually really hard. Yeah, that's what I thought. This laser maze is crazy, right? Yeah, you did a pretty good job building it. I still think my prison's better, though. No way. I can see the exit up ahead. I think I've nearly made it. Oh, I missed that laser. Good job, Milo. Now, I think you're definitely going to love what's in this room. It looks like lots of dispensers. Maybe they have bird seeds inside of them. Yeah, why don't you go see? All right, time to walk on all the pressure plates. <laughs> Hang on a second. Ah, the skeleton! Yeah, this is the skeleton room. Get me out of here! I hate skeletons! Careful, Milo. You gotta get out of here quick. The skeletons are stepping on the pressure plates and multiplying. They're knocking me off the ladder. I can't even get up! Come on, Milo. You can do it. I believe in you. I Good job, Milo. Whoa, they're really angry at you. You've just got to do these ladder jumps. I think I can do it. 
Good job, Milo. The arrows are flying, but you're actually managing this really well. Yeah, I'm a pro. Whoa, you've made it to the final level. The final level? This looks really complicated, Chip. Yeah, it definitely is. And real quick before you begin, I just have to do one little thing. What is I have to place these two blocks. Now, something very special is about to start happening, but you won't see that until you do this first part. Whoa, there's weird lights happening. I'm going to go through this maze of stupid soul sand. Wait, I hit a dead end. I'm such a dum-dum. Yeah, this is really slowing you down, Milo. You don't have much time. Ah, I forgot about the time. I really don't want my prison to get blown up, so I'm going to beat you. No way. I'd love it if your prison could get blown up. Wait a second. What is this? This is the arrow dispenser room. Look out, Milo. You've only got a couple chances of safety. Okay, I'm gonna run. Whoa, good job. Careful. Oh, what? You made it. Now you're in the corridor of ultimate death. Corridor of ultimate death? I don't even know what that means. Too many big words. It means you gonna die, Milo. All right, I'm gonna try and stand on the ice because that's very safety. Careful, Milo. The ice is slippery. Yeah, it is pretty slippery. Because it's blue ice. It's nine times more powerful than regular ice, so it never loses its cold. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty cold right now standing on this ice. If I use this bone that I got from all the skeletons, I can actually kill these roses. Oh no! Hey, ugh, I guess that's fair. I think people misbehaving is okay if they're a bunch of criminals. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm a good buddy. Then why are you in prison, Milo? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what's inside it, Milo? Let's see. Whoa, there's so many diamonds. I'm such a rich party now. <laughs> yeah, you totally are. Uh, you just got to get down, I think. Get down? Um, that's a really far drop. I guess I'm going to have to use the boat to go down. Okay, time to go off the edge. Whoa! Wait, why did you go that way? You could have escaped, but Milo, that doesn't matter. It's time to see who won. Whoa, I can't wait to win. I know I did the fastest time. Milo, the winner of this competition is announced in this book. What? I hope it's me. I hope it's me. It says Chip took three minutes. Wow, I was quick. And now it says Milo took three hours. The winner is Chip. <laughs> No way, Milo! It's totally true. And now I get to blow up your base! Ah, not fair! Ah, no! Don't blow up my prison! It took me so long to build! Yeah, if that's true, it should hopefully stand up to my crazy TNT that I'm gonna activate in three, two, one! Ah! So long, noob prison. Oh, yeah. Wow. This 